Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well out there. Well, I wanted to drop a video on you this morning. On this Sunday, beautiful morning. And what is really on my heart today to share with you and guys, I am out here working out and um, I've been feeling the need to really come to you with these fitness videos, these walking videos that I'm doing. And I am encouraging you all to take this journey with me of getting fit. I think I've shared that I did gain some pounds during this pandemic and um you know I, it's important that i stay active and stay in the loop of uh activity as far as um exercising goes but as i was running and walking because i do a combination of both this morning what the lord has dropped on my spirit to tell you is um Continue to stay within your boundaries. And what I mean by that is oftentimes you can get sidetracked with um, looking to your left, looking to your right, if you will. And I'm using that metaphorically, you know, looking at your neighbor, for example, I'm using that as an example. And I don't mean that literally your neighbor. I just mean it as a metaphor looking at a person's life um and it's called the bible speaks about it and it's called coveting you know you have to look at your blessings that god has bestowed upon you right simple things like um you know just having blessed health a blessed family um kids who are thriving and evolving i'm just using those as examples um, whatever it may be, it could be, you know, that desired, uh, dream home, whatever it may be. And also what's in my spirit to tell you is to love yourself. I don't know why God would not let me up on this because I believe there are a lot of people are just down on themselves because you know, maybe things didn't go the way that they planned. Because you guys know you have your own, well, you have your own roadmap of how you your life is supposed to go, right? But there are detours and sometimes there are roadblocks um, on this journey that we're all taking. And so the key is when you come to a fork in the road or you come to um, a stopping point, okay? A lot of times you have to pause in that moment. You may have to go back. You may have to revamp. I can remember a couple years ago, and I don't mind sharing this because you know why? Because I don't have pride and I don't have, um, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It was a time in my life where I had to go back home. Um, this was years back, but I had to move back home to re uh coop myself if you will or um sometimes you have to just do like a a reset like this reset that's going on right now with this pandemic okay so it may be somebody out there that might have to reset on some things you might have to move back with your mom or with the loved one or with someone to um reestablish yourself don't feel bad about having to go through a reset a reset is a restart for a come up that's exactly what it is so i tell you what it's a good it's a great way for you to rest not having to uh be worrying about okay how i'm gonna do this how i'm gonna do that and guys i can speak to you candidly about this because i've experienced this it wasn't easy because you know when you having to you used to being um you know doing things the way you're supposed to do and then you have to go back and you have to play by, um, you know, you have to go back and let's say if you have to go, let's say move with your parents. I'm just being hypothetical. Uh, and it's cool. You know, I tell you what, that was the most best. That was the best thing God could have allowed for me. Because can I tell you guys something? 
I didn't know me moving back with my mom many years ago that I think it was about four years ago. It was about actually it was about it was about four years ago. I didn't know that was the last year that I would have with my brother. Because that December before I moved out that next month, which would have been that January, he died. And we were able to uh, nothing was wrong with our relationship. We've always been very close, but the Lord had me to just do some special things um, for him that no one knew about that. I don't have, you know, I don't really have to share that, um, but I'm just speaking. I'm using that as an illustration that God will allow things to happen to us. And we don't even know, right, what's on the other side. We don't even know what's on the other side. So you have to just what I say, just go with the flow. And it's kind of like when a person is swimming and, you know, you you enter into a rip current. Right. And that rip current, they're saying you have to swim sideways. Don't fight against it. And then you get out of it. That's a whole nother story. I have a story about that one, too, but that won't go there today. (laughs) Um, but nonetheless, um, you have to just allow things to happen the way they need to happen. And I like to say organically, because when, when it happens organically, you are allowing, um, God to be the the pilot and you just. Um, let him be the navigator. Okay. And so I know that was a, a lot that I wanted to, that was, it was on my heart to just, um, do this. And, um, I just wanted to share that. And that's what I have today on this Sunday. I am going to be getting back to more fragrance videos as well. But right now this is This is part of the motivation, okay? So remember, I have three sections I have of the channel, which is motivation um, and the beauty uh, and inspiration. All of that goes together. So that's it. You guys be blessed, be safe, and to mask up. (laughs) Now, I'm not wearing a mask today because... I'm exercising. (laughs) All right. So y'all take care and uh, I love you. Peace. Bye-bye. God bless America.